everybody. We're introducing some new products today. Uh, so this whole bunch of products I'm about to introduce is to do with Mr. Slowboy. Uh, Mr. Slowboy is this really great illustrator. He's a Chinese gentleman named Fei Wang, and uh, he grew up in Beijing, but he's been settled in London for a number of years with his wife. And uh, he just does these really beautiful menswear illustrations. We've worked with him many times in the past, and a lot of brands have started to work with him as well. And uh, there are these kind of fun, soft, tiny little portraits. Um, they're actually based on an old type of portrait uh, that they used to do in India. They, they called them like a two inch portrait, like it was literally that big, but it was like just detailed enough to really capture the essence of people. And Mr. Stolberg kind of took that idea and ran with it uh, in the menswear world, because he's obviously a menswear enthusiast. And so he wanted to kind of see where he could go with that aesthetic, but with this kind of new subject matter. So first off, the book, Mr. Slowboy, Portraits of the Modern Gentleman. I love this book, and I was so impressed by the way it came together. We had copies of this available. I used this in the past tense because we sold out, um, but they're coming back into stock. It's a really great book. Please come and pick one up because um, you will absolutely love it. Uh, in fact, let's see. There's some Drake stuff in here. There's, he did a collaboration with us at the Armory too. Oh, there's our friend David Marks. Hello, David. Um, he also worked with Ring Jacket. And I also wrote a forward for this book too. Oh, I love this. This is one of my favorite images I've ever done. All right, so Mr. Slowboy, Portraits of the Modern Gentleman. Uh, Used to be available on our website and then went out of stock, but it's coming back next week, so keep an eye out for that. Now, when uh, Slowboy and I were talking about what else can we do together, we thought, oh, it'd be fun to put some products together, right? And knowing Faye and Faye's style, because Faye likes things that are like a little bit more rugged, um, I thought, well, wouldn't it be fun to do a cotton suit together? So I put this together with him. These are a pair of Model 11 suits made using a heavyweight Japanese cotton that's a repro of the old US military HBT cotton. Uh, so it's like heavyweight with a herringbone. It is definitely not a summer suit. Um, I wouldn't recommend it in the summer, but in the fall, in the winter, in the spring, it'll be great. It'll be very comfortable wear. You never have to worry about it. And I'm wearing one now, of course. It's the sort of weight where you don't really worry about the wrinkles. Like it just always looks worn in in a nice way. Um, we actually sell them as separates. So they are actually separately sold as a jacket and a trouser. Uh, part of this is because we figured not everyone would be up for owning a cotton suit. And because, you know, we also thought the trousers alone or the jackets alone would be really good in a lot of people's wardrobes. Okay. Um, to go into a bit more detail for the design. So in the case of the olive, uh, we did it with these great brass buttons, which is actually the first time we've done radio wear with brass buttons. I've always wanted to do it. And for this project, I thought we could do it because it's a little bit more of a quirky thing. Also did it with this great contrast stitch in gold right here. Actually, I gotta show you the label. I love the label. Oop, wrong one. That's the, that's the Model 11 label. So the Model 11 is our American style, like no, uh, no dart in the front, so it's a little bit less wasted, but patch and flap, and it's a three patch type of jacket. And I wanted to show you that. The Mr. Slowboy label. Which I was very excited to do with him. That's awesome. So that's the olive, and this is the cream. And the nice thing about the cream is it's not, it's not like a bleached cream. It actually is an undyed cotton cream. So it's got a lot of the imperfection like in the, in the yarn itself. So you get this nice little brown spotting effect throughout the jacket. And then just to pick that up a little bit more, um, we use chocolate colored, I said covered in a previous take, chocolate colored stitching and uh, brown horn buttons for this. And of course, some people are like, no, it's crazy, like light color in the winter. It's like, yeah, but you know what? COVID YOLO, right? That's the world we live in right now. It's COVID YOLO. Now, what other items could you put with this? How would you accessorize this? For me, like Oxford shirts would be the first starting point. Um, so things like the Drake's button-down uh, button down Oxfords are really good for this sort of purpose. Otherwise, uh, polos are excellent as well. The nice thing about the Armory's polos is that um, we do it with a shirt collar. So it's a shirt collar that's been mounted onto a PK cotton body. And it means that when you wear the jacket over our polos, the collar doesn't just kind of flap around all over the place. It actually looks, it stands up and it frames the neck and it frames the head. It's a great polo to wear with tail clothing. I really like this. Um, this is our indoorsman sweater. So this is our made in Japan waffle knit sweater. 
uh, with a raglan shoulder, and it could look really good against this sort of casual tailoring. I'm really into that. Trouser-wise, um, if you decide not to wear it as a suit, although if you can, I would recommend it because I really like it as a suit, as you can see. Um, blue jeans. Blue jeans is nice on the olive, or even on the cream. And actually, because people are always like, what do I wear navy chinos with? I, I think the navy chinos are especially nice with the cream, too. Okay, so we had the book, we had the two suits, uh, and by the way, stocks are dwindling very quickly, so if you're interested, please try and get in on it fast. Um, last but not least, uh, in order to, like as a little kind of additional item to go with these two suits, Mr. Slowboy also did one extra drawing, which is really, really cool, um, and he made a limited run of prints for the shop uh, for us. Um, so I will throw that up on screen. It's, I'm going to edit this, so that's going to be on screen. And uh, check it out on the website. Uh, we have five in, five in Hong Kong and ten in the U.S. All right. I am very pleased to have been able to show you these. Uh, Mr. Slowboy's work is great. Check him out at Mr. Slowboy on Instagram. And uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.